you know, I've had a great skiing career so far, and but after the Olympics in 2014, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. It was type one bipolar disorder, which is essentially mood swings uh, from going from manic to depressive episodes uh, and everything in between. Bipolar disorder is something that's kind of taken control of my life for the past four years, but it's something that I want to share with to the public, uh, more for personal reasons than for anything else, especially to kind of get the weight off my shoulders a little bit and stop hiding it from everyone. So we're about 220 days out from the Olympic Games right now, and I decided to share this story today because it's it's been a struggle for me, and, and I hope that by coming out today to the public, I can not only receive support, but help others um, fight the stigma that surrounds mental health uh, disorders and illnesses. It's never an easy thing for for an athlete, let alone a person, to, to come to terms with. But you learn along the way, and, and it was with a, a great great team of people behind me that helped identify which problems that I had and and kind of how to get over them as well. Yeah, the process was definitely a, a long one and it still is today. Um, I don't think we ever stop learning from, um, from life in general. Um, bipolar disorder is something that, you know, sometimes causes chemical imbalances in the brain which we learn to deal with, whether it's through therapy, with doctors, with medication. Um, there's so many factors to dealing with the fact that I am bipolar in order for me to succeed both as a person and secondarily as an athlete. To be honest, I hope I have the support of my fans, friends, family, supporters, sponsors. Uh, and Canada as a whole. Um, I don't think mental illness should hold anyone back from accomplishing their goals and dreams. And that's why I'm, I'm proud. Uh, I'm a proud Canadian and, and still going after my sporting objectives, which is to medal at the 2018 Olympic Winter Games in South Korea. So today I hope to inspire others to share their own stories because I know it isn't easy. For me, it's been a long road of self-discovery and it's learning the balance between triggers and what brings me joy and happiness. So I thank you all for your support today, and I'm very grateful to live in a country that has so much support for mental illness and the struggles of everyday lives. I just want to believe in something I don't care if right or wrong. I just want to believe in something I cannot make